Mm, try to cry. Ooh, baby, here I am. Signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. Here I am, baby. Signed, sealed, delivered. I'm yours. I have a drink. Hey. <laughs> Oh, That's what I keep shouting out. Where are the men? Ah! No, no. News just in. <laughs> My trousers are fantastic. What is that? Testicle. Naughty, Naughty lass. lass. See what he's done there. Wow. Wow. He's eating it like a oh. pack of crisps. Oh, I say there's some bosoms there. Not half. Yeah, if you see what you see, if you see it, see it. Would you say you shout at the telly? Only when I'm watching West Ham. I would rather set myself on fire than watch any more of this programme. In the week Rishi and Keir went head-to-head -head in the first TV election debate, we enjoyed lots of great telly. It was all hands on deck as we delved into more canal boat diaries. So, it's really it's quite tough to get over, but... Do you know, that's the most unattractive thing I've seen on television for quite a while. Someone washing their old Washing their pondy old feet. pondy feet out in an old... <laughs> Pondy thing with a trickle of water that he's probably having to pump himself from oh. recycled urine. <laughs> Paramount Plus was keeping us up with a spooky new drama. I can relate to obviously insomnia. Mm. Barely sleep. Never slept well. But you don't do really kind of psychotic things. Uh, no, no, no. I just don't. Spend much time unconscious. It's a waste of time, isn't it? Don't get much done, do you? I always say, you know, sleep when you're dead, eat just before. It's yeah. one of my mantras. And it was shout what you see on ITV. Mia. Hello. <laughs> oh. Hello. <laughs> Absolutely love. It. I love your furry cuffs. Feather cuffs. Feather yes. cuffs. Yeah. Do you like the feathered sleeve? I don't mind a little feathered sleeve. That I don't mind a feather, but they're very, very that itchy. Look, to be honest, that get. You know, you imagine you're eating a donut or something. Would then... you wear a feather? Uh, I think I've wore feathers. Yeah. When? Wore feathers, no matter when. That's not what they do with you. It's me, me and your mother's playtime. <laughs> <laughs>this has been dedicated to Sean William Ryder. Uh, it's a star in the constellation of Andromeda, right? A session 02H13M, 1330s. Uh, and that's that's my star. Uh, I know I gave it you. You did? Yeah, I did, did you not remember? I gave you that. I said, this is uh, your fucking star named after you. Ah. And that's I just remember like someone in London presented it to me. Yeah, it was me, you mad man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna forget that. <laughs> On Saturday night, ITV One gave us something that was worth shouting about. You are more competitive than me. You're yeah. the most competitive person I've met. Yeah. But but you are also very, very competitive as well. But you are more competitive. But by you saying that I'm more competitive than you is you being competitive. I know. Do you hear that? <laughs> Therefore, you're more competitive. You think this is a bit like catchphrase? I, I've no idea. But if it comes to shouting, I can probably do it. Yeah, you probably can. In with the shout. <laughs> Would you say you shout at the telly? Only when I'm watching West Ham. Yeah, it's in with a uh... shout. You've got a shout. In with a shout. Shout. No, I can't shout. My voice. Hold on. Isn't that my forte? Yeah, no, you do. Shouting you at the spend telly. most of your time shouting at the telly. I shout at the news. Yeah. I shout at anything uh, and everything. Everything. Yeah. Each of these tellies contain 15 clips, and all you have to do is tell us what you see. Yeah, if you see what you see, if you see it, see it. Tell us what you see. I don't, I don't get it still. You just have to shout what you see. What, so if I see a penguin, just shout penguin? Yeah. It's not mastermind. Oh. We... Basically, like, what's that? We might be good at this one, then. Remote. What's that? Glass. You've won. Oh. The clips come fast, and you only have the time... That... Penguin soldiers, penguin soldiers, <laughs> penguin not soldiers! Yet, not yet, not okay, yet. OK, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to be first to good, take on the tellies? Good to nominate Debbie to get us off to a winning star. Come on, Debbie. <laughs> Go on, Deb, I believe in you. Is there any of the categories that are singing out to you right now? So I'm going to try with this one, please. Things beginning with shh. Yes, please. Things beginning with shh. Ooh, OK. 
Oh, things beginning with sh. Quite niche. Very niche. Here we go. Okay, let's play. Here we go. Oh, look, he's getting ready. He's getting ready. Three, two, one. Good luck. Shield, <laughs> shield, shield. Shield. There we go, straight in. Oh, well, well done. Ship. It's not right. Submarine. <laughs> What? Shipwreck. 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 I said it first. Silhouette. That don't begin with sh. Silhouette. That's stretch. Shadow. Shadow. Yes. Shadow. Oh, of course. Why have I never watched this? Now we get it. Here we go. Who's that? Who is that? I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. A man. Shaggy. Oh, is he? Yeah. Well done. Shaggy. Oh. Shaggy! Shaggy! Oh, sh Shaggy, 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 Shaggy! Shaggy shoot. Who's that? A, d a lady singing with a gold dress who looks lovely. Shania Twain. No, Shirley Bassey. I know a Shirley Bassey story that I've been told off like one of their tour managers. Are you allowed to sell it? Oh, you can't tell that story about <laughs> Shirley. You've got a shout. Okay, you've got, got a shout. Got shout. one of the guys. This one's right. In death with you. I'll tell you right in my ear, bro. That's all you're doing, you're shaking. Don't forget your freezes. What is that? A shiny penny? What? Shilling. Shilling. Surely it's a shilling. Shekel. No, shilling. 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 Can't hear. I bet shilling! <laughs> what is it? What kind? A shiny it's ten pence, one pence, out. fifty pence, ten, ten pence. Oh, come on! It's a shilling! <laughs> why are you saying shilling like that? Brother, I swear it's a shilling. Yeah, but why are you saying it like that? I don't know. It's a shilling! <laughs> <laughs> We're in. Up to 100 pounds. Let's get up that ladder. <laughs> Who's that? Shania Twain. That is Shania Twain. Oh, it's just Shania Twain. Shania Twain. Shania Twain. God, you're good at this, babe. Shania Twain. Oh, I wouldn't have known her. You Let's fucking dress it. like her. I'm surprised you don't. At an incredible pace now. Shetland Pony. Shetland Pony. I can do that. Shetland Pony. Love that. We're up to four hundred pounds, Debbie. What's that? A, a, a shoehorn. A shoehorn. Oh, I just bought one of them. Come on. Oh, Sharon Osborne. Uh, Sharon Osborne. Sharon Osborne. Sharon Osborne. Sharon Osborne. Come on, man. Sharon Osborne. It's £700, and that is the end. £700, oh! Debbie! We'd have done better than that. We would have. She was shit. <laughs> that was so much harder than it looked. You said yeah. it was easy. You were like, it was like, what's this? What? Um. I'm not good at quick thinking. You've either got well, it or you that, haven't, you know, and I'm, a, I panic too much. You've got a good brain. It's just not very quick, your brain. It's I'm not noticed. quick. And it takes a little bit. But you're tired, darling. You're bringing up three no, children I can't under fucking feet. I've that. I've, all, I've never right. been a quick thinker. Oh, I think we need to be acknowledged more for what you're doing at the moment because, you know, when the kids come round here, we need a fucking SWAT team, don't we? <laughs> In Essex. I think it's funny that you think you've got a hand at interior design, because yeah. didn't you try and paint your hallway? The labour isn't my forte. I think I've got a hand at no, interior. No, it's not. What's wrong with my house? Best mates, Jordan and Perry. When you've got kids, yeah, there's just stuff. There's just stuff. And I like no stuff. So you said my house is full of stuff? Yeah, I'm just saying, get rid of that stuff. <laughs> right, what's it? That it's the stuff, the possessions of the kids. I think it's the kids. <laughs> Always getting in the way. I was just saying, get rid of the kid. I'd love to see you guys do interior design on a random family's house. All kid, right? First of all, little Harriet and George, get them out. <laughs> First update we're making, the kids are gone. It's just the opposite to that Stacey Solomon show. You know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh bless. not get rid of the clutter. Good times. This week, there was more matchmaking mayhem on our favourite age gap dating show. It's Milf Manor. Okay. Means nothing. I don't understand any of those words. Have you not seen it? Milf Manor. Milf Manor. You What's know? Milf Manor? Mothers I'd like to... Well, not I'd like to, but mothers that younger men would like to... Uh, Is that know. what Milf means? Yeah. It's like me now. I'm a gilf. You are a gilf. A granddad I'd like to fuck. Yeah. Since my divorce, my dating life is an absolute train wreck. Does the woman have to be technically a milf and have her own child? Yeah. I haven't been in an actual committed relationship in over 10 years. Wow. They don't look that old, though. Where are the men? That's what I keep shouting out. Where are the men? Oh, no. Oh. It's 
older women going out with younger men. Could you be bothered holding your stomach in? Well, I'd have to be a gilf, wouldn't I? Grandma's, I'd like to. <laughs> Guys, it's my <laughs> dad. Oh, his dad is there! Oh. oh, my God, the dads are hotter than the sons. See, I quite like the dads. I do. Will the MILFs go for the DILFs, or will the MILFs go for the toy boys, or will the... Toy boys a, go for the DILFs. In an incredible plot twist. <laughs> oh, is that it? I thought I was watching more. Uh, no, we are. Would you like to be called a MILF? No, I fucking wouldn't. Why? Because I wouldn't. At this point, I would rather set myself on fire than watch any more of this program. <laughs> it's time for your next challenge, and this one may get messy. Oh. Please change into your bathing suits, and when you're ready, let's meet in the backyard. Get into your bathing suits. Bathing suits. Oh, that's me finished. No. I'd refuse. <laughs> I'd immediately <laughs> refuse. Me? No. I'm going, no, I'm MILF. No. You change. <laughs> They're not doing slip and slide. <laughs> Are they doing slip and slide? A <laughs> dad. Welcome to the MILF mud pit. Woo! I'll cross me in, key old done it's gonna happen here. Well, are you you're taking the piss now? No, but it should be there. Well, it is there. I must have two there. For today's challenge, each of you will have a chance to protect or share your own dirty little secret. Oh. Mm. He's thinking, which dirty little secret? How do these people go back to work? How do they go back to their families? How do they go in the local bar or whatever they do? Yeah, well, you know, some people just live differently. If you lose, your dirty little secret will be revealed in front of the entire group. And this looks good, doesn't it? There's going to be some really filthy secrets no, coming out here. I don't want to see it. It's just, honestly, it's just like... It's, it, uh, it's a race to the bottom. For this round, it is Crystal versus Lynette. Bless her. Oh, I'm getting at mud. And I'll be honest, I don't want my secret revealed because it is a dirty little secret. Well, you shouldn't have told anyone then. Wow. Dirty. <laughs> it's a dirty. <laughs> I don't know if she's Crystal or Lynette, but she had some passion on that secret. I don't want my secret to be revealed because it's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> on your mark. Get set, go. Go, guys! Come on, come on, pull! Oh, come on. oh God! Oh, 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 I say there's some bosoms there. Not half. Oh, I see this smile on the TV, bro. Huh? What? Say that again? Oh, I see this smile on the TV. What's that for a smile? <laughs> I once told my boyfriend my friend was mugged so I could take his car to see another guy. Ooh. Oh, my God. She said her friend got mugged so she could use her boyfriend's car to go cheating. Oh, that's an awful thing to do. I don't think that's that bad, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably use that one myself. <laughs> For the next round, please welcome Ashley versus Jacob. Ooh. Ooh. They're both stacked. No, but the dad is like, they're like Pokemon. The dad's like the evolved version of the son. He's just like, that level up. As Jacob knows, we've done some challenges before mm. and uh, he's coming out second, second best. He looks amazing, that dad. How old is he? I'll tell you what, that dad's pretty all right. Look, I mean, look at that figure. Mm. Go! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm rooting for the son. I'm not. The dad's one. Of course he has. Look at the size of him. Looks like the old. He's massive. Come on, the daddy. Oh, come on. Come on, by come his on. Dad. Read us your dirty little secret. Uh oh. So my dirty little secret is I always get nosebleeds during sex. <laughs> How's that a dirty little secret? You need medical attention. Yeah, that maybe. Not... Maybe just go get that checked out. <laughs> That's not oh, good, dear. is it? No. Well, at least you're prepared. If you watch this. Well, well yeah. What well, with Anki? Yeah. What have you done? Look. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> In Wakefield. How are you feeling today? Can't lie. I'm a bit rough. A bit rough. Yeah. I know. We've got to stop doing all this party. <laughs> Best friends Jane and Sue. But it's like the more we party now, the more I quite like it. Because I haven't, I haven't done a lot of partying. No. <laughs> but, you know, no. not to the extent that you've done. 
Yeah, but it's a lot of years ago, isn't it? Mm. You, you're steady down and like now we're coming into our second wind. I think you're right. Mm. Well, wind especially. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't mention it. I know. So oh, we're going to cut dear. down on the drink and the booze and the snacks. No, we never said that. No, we didn't, did no, we? Have a nut. Have a, have a crisp. Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> this week, we enjoyed more dramatic twists and turns on Britain's Canal Network. What? <laughs> Just all about a guy who lives on a canal boat. Cute. I'm Robbie Cumming. Hi, Robbie. Go on, Robbie. And this is my narrowboat home, the Naughty Lass. As of Naughty Lass, Jules Verne. Hi. Robbie Cumming on the Naughty Lass. That sounds very rude. <laughs> That's very rude, isn't it? Things don't always go to plan. Uh oh. Oh, dear. There's a tree that's just completely blocking the canal. Well, I won't say it's completely blocking it, yeah. Robbie. What's he going to do? Go round it. <laughs> I don't want to ruin the ending. <laughs> <laughs> canal boat diaries. <laughs> this is real white middle class people. Yeah. Stuff, <laughs> you see, I love programmes like this because they just make you go. <sighs> oh, you can't beat a good sigh. You can't. As a moored up, I just wanted to show you a job that I've got to do inside my galley kitchen. Yeah. It relates to my galley worktop, which is made of wood. Yeah, it's a nice worktop. Yeah. This is solid oak, and any sort of water damage, yeah, can be a problem. Gosh, I mean, you wouldn't expect water damage on a canal, would you? Sarky. <laughs> To combat that, I've got to sand it all back a bit. Sand it all back. For the hard wax oil that I'm going to add. Oh, wow. Nice bit of hard wax oil, look at that. He loves his boat. It's exciting, this chain, isn't it? Now, I may or may not be using an old pair of my underpants to rub the oil what? Okay. on. Um, I think they were clean. Prove it. Oh, that's a satisfying shine, isn't it, Stephen? Isn't it just? <laughs> Look at that, lovely. But I'd like him to come and do my surfaces. Everyone's that lovely kitchen. Yeah, I did that with my undies. <laughs> right, I've covered all the surfaces. Job done, I think. And, yeah, it's almost like brand new again. Well done, Robbie. I hope it's going to get a little bit more interest. Well, give him a chance. This is boring, blood. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got to avoid touching it for a few hours. Are we going to watch the surface for the next few hours? Watching surface dry. It's interesting they call it Canal Boat Diaries, not Canal Boat Adventures. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Go on, then. But look at this, this is the same thing. Uh. Oh, that oh, be a well-oiled work socks, then, mate. It's the end of the day, I'm moored up, but there's been a bit of a tragedy. <gasps> oh, no, what? What? Oh, no. Out of the two cameras that are fixed to the roof of the boat, one of them is missing. You've lost a camera? And there's only one place it's likely to be. Oh, in no. the canal. So I'm going to get in there. I've got my flip-flops on. Flip-flops? No, no! no. Uh... Every once in a while, I end up losing something in the canal itself. What are you doing? It's gone, mate. I'm going to take a wild guess that if he finds the camera, it's fucked. Yeah, it's not going to work, is it? And this time, it was an action camera. What action was it picking up? It, it died of boredom and threw itself <laughs> in. <laughs> I'm not going to be part of this. Action. I'm an action camera. <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> Give me some action. I've had a good look for it. He's got it. No, he ain't. He has. But all I found was this. Oh, oh, what's that? I don't want that in my collection of things I've found in a canal. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Kind of makes you a bit sick, really, when you lose something that contains memories. Oh, hello. Was he just taking his strides off? Well, his underpants will be polishing worktop <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could live on a barge, darling. I don't know about you, but... No, not for me. Yeah, fuck all that. It's madness. All I'm thinking of... Is... Is, is his kitchen worktop dry yet? <laughs> In Essex. What would you do, though, Dad, if Jared rung you and said, I want to marry your daughter? Well, I'd have to think hard about it, darling, because, you know, you're my first-born child, and to give your hand away... Well, sob, well, sob me out and go, yes. <laughs> Danny. And a dad, Danny. Your speech would be un... But you're so good at speeches and thinking 
No, I'm only good Quit at speaking about up. stuff I enjoy and yeah, love. Yeah, true. Uh, you know, so so I have been writing it already, so. Oh, my God. Have you actually? No, nah, don't be so stupid. What, downstairs in your little office? I'm not pre anything. No, you no know, we're not it goes tits up, it goes tits up, then what? Can you imagine, Dad? No, it couldn't be. I can't be doing that The only that way again. it would go tits up is if he moved and went and played for Tottenham. <laughs> if he went and played for Tottenham Hotspur, then there's and some fucking it, issues. Then, it? Yes. Oh, that would seal so, the deal for you. Other than that, it? Yeah, I'm sweet with whatever, whatever else happens. Yeah, fine. This week, we were stateside meeting quirky people with some unique habits. I'm addicted to collecting all sorts of things. I suppose my animal poo connection is probably... Well, that's, yeah, but that's kind of expected, you know. Yeah, I guess it is. People like me do collect poo. You've got weirder they? things than that. I used to quite like smelling the inside of my... What? Strap. But not now it's a metal one. That's disgusting. I know, but when it was a leather one, I really liked it. <laughs> Horrible. No, it smelled really nice. These are the people that end up eating like drywall. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I can I spent six years eating my mattress. Yeah, and like, what? Yeah. I'm addicted to Amazon. I, I cannot stop buying shit off Amazon. My name is Weston Rowe and I'm 40 years old. 40? It looks great. Uh, 40's not that old, thanks. Oh, what's your addiction? I bet he's got a mad one. I'm a pretty uh, laid-back guy. Um, I don't need a lot of uh, things uh, to make me happy in life. I'm very simple. He seems quite a normal guy, but something's not yeah. going to be right. Something's going to oh. come out of the woodwork. I feed my dogs 100% uh, raw meat and raw bones. We do. We do that. Yeah, it's good for them. Uh, both me and my dogs, we actually share something in common. Or we're, we both go to the toilet against <laughs> lampposts. <laughs> we were both designed to eat. Raw meat. Oh, he's gonna eat the he's gonna eat the raw meat. Oh no, he eats raw meat. He eats raw meat. He eats raw meat. <gasps> no. no. He's eating a fucking raw meat. Look at he's eating it. He's fucking eating it. Oh my <laughs> god, that's disgusting. <laughs> he's eating it like a oh. pack of crisps. Oh. Oh, not like that, Fred Flintstone. I am addicted to eating raw meat. It's delicious, ma'am. You oh. used to be a big meat eater. Oh, I still am. I'm, I'm almost like drooling at the mouth watching me eat that raw steak. Wow. Why are you not eating at the moment? It's, it's usual denture shit. Ah, right, got yeah. it, got it. The real game changer is when people find out that I'm eating raw chicken. No, 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 no. No, you can't, eat, you can't raw eat raw chicken. You can't eat raw chicken. Well, we've all been told you can't. This here just looks like a very healthy animal. Right, right. <laughs> oh, smelling its ass. Sniffing a chicken's ass, is it? Yeah. He's sniffing its bottom. I know, I feel bad about sniffing my watch strap now. <laughs> Or maybe better about it because well, it's, it's not as weird as this. No, he wouldn't. He, he is. Wouldn't. Bro! Oh, oh man. I wonder how it started. Well, how did this start for him? In uh, four years, I've eaten about 100 raw chickens and I've never been sick once. Oh, you, I, I thought you weren't allowed to do that. Well, I don't think you are. What happens if he goes to like a barbecue and someone cooks it? Does he not eat it? He must get so angry. Yeah. God damn it, I said I didn't want it cooked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Eating like 100% strictly raw meat all the time can be, definitely be like social suicide for a uh, single man. Yeah. Yeah, he's kind of no luck on the dating scene, is he? Then finally, I met Shelby. Oh! Shelby. How the fuck is that bloke sniffing a chicken's arsehole Ninja. and eating raw chicken and I'm still single? Weston is the most incredible man I've ever met. See, I'd be worried for Shelby because you know, what if he wants a snack in the night and her legs sticking out of the quilt oh, and he thinks, oh, that fucking carve yeah. looks... That carve looks lovely. Mm, we connect on many levels. Yeah. I feel you. She likes raw meat Why as well. The she... sharing the meat? Oh, that's... Oh, thank you. No. Oh, come oh, on! Come Their on, breath man. must fucking stink, man. <laughs> it's very special to share that, and he's the perfect one for me. Are they going to feed their kids this? Let's hope they're not reproducing. I don't just, uh, just eat raw meat. I actually also eat raw internal organs. He ain't eating that as well, is he? Why not? In for a penny, in for a pound. <laughs> My favorite raw internal organs would be uh, liver, kidney, 
spleen. Oh. What the fuck is that? Oh. The spleen. spleen. Why are you eating the spleen? And then you got glands. Those are also good too, like testicle. Pools. Wait a second. Cut that open there. <gasps> Look that at the size of that testicle. What is that? A testicle. What? Whose testicle? A bull. <laughs> yeah, when I eat testicles, it enhances my libido like crazy. Especially when I eat them for about two, three days in a row, it gets pretty wild. Yeah. Oh, I say his libido gets pretty wild after mm. he's eating a testicle. Maybe there's something in it after all. Maybe. <laughs> go away! <laughs> go. Go away! I can't watch it. Hang on, wait go a minute. Away. You're gonna be sick. Go away there. Go no, on. just give me a minute. I need go, to walk away. away. I mean, honestly, this is—he's eating an environmental catastrophe. <laughs> he's a one-man planet destroyer. Honestly. <laughs> He's, That's a he's, slogan for he's a teacher. chomping down on the world's biodiversity and pumping CO2 into the atmosphere one mouthful at a time. Gulping. Why do you want moan about me eating and gulping? It's one of the biggest things it's, it's in our house. It's not just me. This is a big problem in our house. Got... Rio and his wife, Kate. I just struggle to eat now in the house. If we haven't got, like, <laughs> music on playing full blast, you don't want to sit near me, nor do the boys, especially in Tia. But do you not just think it might be a you thing now, then? It's not an us thing. No one in my life's ever said it to me ever in my life before. I think people just being nice, because... I've been around... All the team, my teammates, for years in close proximity, no one's gone. Oh my God, Rio is like the wildest eater. It's like it's is... like a washing machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the lads is like the, that's the harshest environment. No one's ever said it. I don't know. We're not you... all making it up. I think you just have to evaluate the way you eat. All right. It's like mm -hmm. maybe because you know what? It's maybe because your food is so nice <laughs> that I can't control myself. Around Good me. answer. <laughs> <laughs> In Essex. I've been really busy this morning. Why? Where you been? I got up, made me a cup of tea in it. I thought, oh, we'll start. And then um, just tied it all round. I thought, right. How long did that take you? All morning. Rylan and his mum, Linda. What are you laughing at? <laughs> I bet you made about 14 cups of tea. I did. This morning, and you've probably gone like that on the side. I did, I made biscuits. That's what you've done, isn't it? You I'm fucking biscuits. liar. You're such a liar. Yeah, I mean, I had my tea and biscuits. And How many biscuits you had today? Oh, quite a few. I, I like a biscuit. How many? I? Say, eight, nine. How many? No, maybe that's it. How many? Well, pack it. No, I knew it. I knew it. This week, it was a creepy drama that gave us all the chills on Paramount+. Plus. Let's see what other bollocks we got on. I hate You anything. hate anything scary? Anything, f like, too thrillery, too jumpy, too twisty-turny. I don't know, it freaks, freaks me out. One, one. 
She's whispering. Shh, shh, shh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is whoa, this, bruv? Whoa, whoa, man. What is this, my guy? Why is she saying numbers? Oh God! Oh no! Don't oh, do ow, that! Ow, don't do stop that. it! Oh, she's going for it! Oh! Not only did she smash her nut on the glass, but then she smashed her nut on the cars um, um, on the way down, wait, which is a nightmare. Oh. oh my God! Even the name Insomnia. You just know this is going to be brilliant. I think genuinely I had the opposite of insomnia. Because insomnia is when you can't sleep, innit? You, you fall asleep. I fall asleep. I fell asleep, I fell asleep standing up in rehearsal. Yeah. Oh, I know it is. Yeah. Line of duty. Yeah. Oh, I hate it when a phone rings in something like this. You know it's going to be awful. <laughs> Phoebe. Who's Phoebe? Ward 15. Right, I'm on my way. Oh, no. Ward, Ward 15. 15? Somebody's in hospital. Yeah. Em! Have you ever left a house that quickly? No. <laughs> There's so much to do when you leave a house. I know. Phoebe, what's going on? I thought you had an accident. Oh, God, is it their mum? I knew you wouldn't come otherwise. I knew you wouldn't come otherwise, oh. so she's obviously not... Not talking to Talking her. to the mum for some reason. Who's mum then? It was the mum, but then obviously the she... The mum fell over and smashed her nut on the cars here, yes. Yeah. Fuck you, baby. Oh! Oh, she do not like her mum. Her mum must have done something bad to yeah. her, Yeah. For her not to want to be there. Yeah, there's something, there's something going in there. A bit later, we saw Phoebe turning up unannounced at Vicky's house. Please, we just think about going to see her at the hospital. Well, her sister won't give up, will she? No. Sitting with her, getting it, whatever you need to say off your chest, it's for your own good. Stop pushing me. I'm not going to see her. I have nothing to say to her. Go and see your fucking mother, Vic. They're certainly not a very happy family, are they? No. You're not going to morph into her. You're not a fucking werewolf. Oh, she's not a werewolf, is she? No, she's saying you're not a werewolf. As if the mother turns into out to be a werewolf. werewolf. You never know with these shows now. Like she's running around taking well, fucking yeah. chunks out of people. Would you rather be a werewolf or a vampire? Uh, there's no such thing as bad blood. Jesus Christ! Bad blood? Do you think there's, there is such a thing as bad blood? Yeah. Do you? Mmm. It's the numbers. Oh, no. Can she hear that? Do you think Ooh, the voices the in her voices head are the head. same as her mum's. Oh, the door's on, doesn't it sound, isn't it? What the fuck's going on here? Oh! Oh, she's walking into the path. Oh. We're going to see what the mum did. Three, one, five, five, two, one, zero. Bruh. Happy birthday. Shut up, I was you. counting. <laughs> I was doing me numbers. You've got the bad blood too. Ah! Oh. <gasps> oh, no, that's a terrible thing to say to your child. That's why she's got issues, isn't it? You've got the bad blood. She can't sleep. It's on insomnia, isn't it? No. I've got that. I know, yeah. As someone who suffers from insomnia, I recommend a digestive biscuit at this point. <laughs> you always go downstairs like three o'clock to eat a digestive. Yeah. Hey, them dictaphones are little now, aren't they? Mmm. Suggest a court appointed social worker assessment of Nathan Stockwell. Do you think she looks more sexy in a pair of glasses? Very yes. <laughs> <laughs> Even more. Even more. Yes. Oh no. What? What? Where is she now then? Did she just fall asleep on the bath side? I don't know. How she end up there? I don't know, boy. Oh, I don't like this man. I'm telling you now, that whole bad blood thing is something that the mum had and she's getting it now. I'm telling you. Yeah, but I don't think it's that bad that she's got up and run a bath. No. <laughs> hey, 
Head in hands at work is not a good look. Not a great look. You know that feeling as well. No sleep. You're at work. You know. You know that feeling. You okay? Yeah. Um, I'm just having a bit of a problem with your dictaphone. Oh, the phone recorded something that it shouldn't have recorded. Oh no. Your instructions aren't on there. Okay. What's it going to be? One, one, three, one, two, three, one. <gasps> That's what the mum done, isn't it? The in the, in the mirror. Oh my god, she's doing it. What the mum was doing. What is the one one five two? Fuck knows. I just want to see her mum. Mum, what's with the numbers? Tell me about the numbers. I do not have the bad blood. <laughs> uh, no, I don't like this. I will never be you. <laughs> <gasps> oh, oh my shit. God, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> that went badly. <laughs> Bro, I've got goosebumps. I've got actual goosebumps. What would you do if you heard me going, one, five, nine, six, eight, two, two? What, if you come outside my bedroom door doing it? Yeah. I'd smash your bloody face in. <laughs> and I would. I'd, I'd... <laughs> You're frightened. Jane, don't even contemplate oh, no. it. For your own safety. <laughs>I did have a bit of a crisis the other day with some teriyaki sauce that I found in the back of the fridge and it had right. congealed into like a jelly. Chris and his stepdaughter Megan. Anyway, I, I sort of stirred it in. It tasted fine, but um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you have a rough night? Uh, no, it was the following day, actually. Oh. It was the following day in the woods. But anyway, let's... Oh! <laughs> in the woods? <laughs> Sorry. I'm a, of, I'm a man of nature. <laughs> I was marking my territory. No! Yeah, look, if the badgers can do it, I can. <laughs> on Friday night, it was all about long-distance relationships on Channel 4. Oh, here we go. It's modern dating. It's good, this. So it's people who are dating but they've never met. So they live in different countries, so they date on the internet or they phone each other every day. Dating, right. but never met. These are the never mets. Oh, it's Dawn. It's Dawn in French. <laughs> Couples who have met online and formed long distance relationships without ever meeting face to face. But that's how everyone meets these days on the internet, isn't it? Well, yeah. Now, after months and even years of talking online, Duck. they've decided to take the plunge and cross international borders to meet for the first time. Oh, they're flying halfway across the uh. world. We know that well, smell plays a really important role when it comes to forming, you know, relationships. Yeah. They've what? never smelled one another. <laughs> Imagine travelling all the way to the other side of the world <laughs> and you go, oh, no, oh, my goodness me, no thank you. The never met. Well, it's a good say saying, isn't it, for what we're going to watch? Oh, well, yeah, because they've... Do you know why? Because they've never met. I oh, know, I was going to say that. Previously on The Never Met. 17-year-old college boy Jay has been in a long-distance relationship with Vina, who is 10 years his senior. Oh, 10 years? Good, aren't you? Imagine one of the kids talking to someone 10 years older on the other side of the country. Oh, the other well, side of the, the world. world? No. I don't think so. Not happening in this house. After a year and a half of talking online, they've set their sights on meeting. So, hang on, a year and a half meeting, talking online and never met each other, so he would have been 16 and she would have been 26. Yeah. A oh, bit odd. Isn't it? And after completing the four and a half thousand mile journey to India... Mate, he's actually got all the way to India. Jay finally locked eyes with girlfriend <laughs> Veena for the first time in real life. <laughs> Oh, she's buzzing. Oh, my... This is wild. Yeah. Having only just met his first-ever girlfriend for the first time, it's now time to meet her entire family, too. I mean, you might as well get it over with, I suppose. <laughs> I'm probably most nervous about meeting all of her family. I want them to like me, but it's a language barrier. I think that would help, having the language barrier there, because you've always got that to fall back on. Do you know what I mean? Well, you can use this like a get out. If, it, if they're getting too awkward, you, you just, just be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can be like, okay, we're not quite understanding each other. Good shout. To mark the occasion, Vina's mum has prepared a special feast served on banana leaves. In Southeast Asia, you cannot say no to food. It's, just, it's, it's the rudest thing Very you can rude. do. So whatever's in front of you, you've just got to eat it. 
I, I like to keep it safe for food most of the time. He's a chicken nugget, yeah. But it's just your normal pizzas or chicken. But my favourite thing to eat is probably Greg sausage rolls. He's not going to get a Greg sausage roll there, is he? No, he's not. No. Oh, bless. He's oh. in for a cold shock here, isn't he? Oh. His bowels probably will be enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. mm. He's not even enjoying it. Look, he's spitting the rice out. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, what did you just tell your mum? And we'll just order in from the McDonald's. He's getting a McDonald's. No. Day one to be like. Day all. Oh, day you mind hopping on Deliveroo? Do you know what I mean? Having to get your girlfriend to explain to her mum that you're not eating her food. I've got to order in McDonald's. It's like. Oh, yeah. Love and the rain. This evening, Jay's introduction to Vina's family continues with a special dinner organised by Vina's uncle. Oh, not more food. Uh, that day, he didn't take that uh, Kerala food, nah. That's why I made the Italian food. Oh, he's making Italian oh, food for so him. Lovely. How sweet of him. I make the pasta also and uh, fish finger. Oh, fish fingers? Fish fingers. Italian. <laughs> A fish fingers? <laughs> fish fingers Italian. I've never heard of that. Fish fingers? Yeah. The chicken nuggets also I have. Basically, she's turned around and gone, don't cook him any nice food, and they've gone down Iceland and got chicken nuggets and fish fucking fingers. We get a lot of this stuff. We get, like, fish fingers and garlic bread. Nuggets. nuggets. Oh, look, you see, that's food he'd recognise. Yeah. Some brown it's things. It's brown. Some nice brown things. <laughs> He's got there to dip in a, a red thing. Oh, They've got yeah. some brown to dip Have in the red. Have you got anything deep fried and brown? Yep. Oh. Oh, my oh, God. Come on, you can't Uncle. go from fish fingers to that. Yeah, yeah well, well, maybe you can. <laughs> So basically, he's asking, when exactly are we planning to get married? <laughs> uh, there's the M word. Ah! Well, we've, well, we've met for an hour, yeah. so let's sleep on it, shall we? You know, um... Oh, not the whole family like this, so... When is it? When you get married? <laughs> Next time you come, you need to propose to her. <laughs> also, imagine having to then decide who moves where. Does That's she that. move to him? That's Does that. he move to there? God, no. I don't see him moving to India, though. Oh, the, geezer, no. the geezer loves Greg's sausage rolls. Yeah. She's going to have to move to India. He needs to be surrounded by chicken nuggets. <laughs> That's it. It's the only way yeah. it's going to work. In South London. But you're good with your fitness, though. I try to be. The older I've got now, I try to. Do you know what you've got to do, though? Mm -hmm. Stretching. Really? Every, I don't stretch. Bro, you got to stretch every day, man. Serious. Good friends Mo and Baba Tunde. I had this one friend where, I remember he was younger, he was like, I'm going to buy this machine mm. that makes, that he, he teaches himself how to do the splits. Oh, no. Mm -mm. I got that. I'm nearly 40. I don't need to I be doing this. I don't need to do that. Yeah. There is no way, there's, no, there's no conversation yeah. that says, yeah? <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Let me... <laughs> I'm not going to be at any barbecue anytime soon <laughs> doing the splits. <laughs> Could you imagine if someone <laughs> broke out a grown man in the splits? You'd be like, bro, what are you doing, man? <laughs> you know if that's your friend? Hey, bro, get up, get up. No, get but up. it's true. There's no, there's no situation that calls for you. <laughs> <laughs> on Friday night, big news from across the pond was still making waves on the BBC. I did try to sit down and not make a noise, but I just can't fucking do it, Dan. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, my... God. Oh, my <laughs> God. Look how long it is. Wow. I feel lighter. Good tune up. He's at your nap. Not made everyone out there nut like that. Good evening. Oh, it's Rita Chakrabarti. News just in. My trousers are fantastic. After his conviction on multiple counts of falsifying business records. Guilty. Guilty. Lock him up. Lock him up. Every single charge. Guilty on every single charge from 34. Donald Trump today went on the offensive. Of course he fucking did. Went on the offensive. Been on the offensive for about 10 years. He'll say it's all a fix, though. Of course he will. He attacked, among others, the judge and the district attorney involved in his prosecution. <laughs> he just can't keep his fucking gob shut, can he? How can he be He's president? still in the running for how? it. How? Well, because look at the other fucking geezer. Yeah, but how are they... The other geezer can't walk up a flight of stairs. He still faces three other criminal trials. But they probably won't happen before the election. 
It's madness, isn't it, really? Can you be president if you're criminal? I don't know. In America, anything goes, it seems. I'll tell you what, our politics is so boring in comparison. <laughs> it's so <laughs> yawn fest. Trump's a fucking lunatic. Well, Absolute they all are, lunatic. Yes, mate. It's like putting me in charge. Well, he might as well. I might as well be, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he'd do as good as job. Oh, really? Yeah, he's got that walk about him and he that fucking walk. Scrapping the teleprompter. Oh, I thought that was, was a, I thought that was a small child. So did I. Oh, she scared the shit out of me. That was well, come doing? out like a gremlin. But why did she do that? I don't know. He spent 40 minutes ad libbing and railing against his opponents. Not a 40 minute ad lib. Freestyle. Let me freestyle this rap. You don't even know what's going on because you're talking crap. <laughs> <laughs> It was a rig trial. We wanted a venue change. A venue change? What is it you wanted? In a strip club? <laughs> we wanted a judge change. We wanted a judge that wasn't conflicted. No, you wanted a judge that was a Republican, Donald. He's used to getting his own way, isn't mm. he? There is no other truth. It's just Donald Trump truth. And obviously he didn't do that. He always talks like he's mm. just like, bruv, blow your nose. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. He's an American Del boy. <laughs> That's who Trump is. That is it in a nutshell. American Del Boy. This is the man Donald Trump blames for his legal woes. Here he comes in his girdle. And it's reckless. It's dangerous. It's irresponsible. Uh, Joe Biden's been at the Charlotte Tilbury counter. Look at that foundation. Our justice system has endured for nearly 250 years. And it literally is the cornerstone of America. He sounds like such a granddad, doesn't it? You know, like when you're... You're past a certain age, I think you should retake your driving test. Yeah. He shouldn't be able to do that. He needs to retake his <laughs> test. That's unbelievable. That's out of order. It's true, though. He's just there keeping that twat out of office. It doesn't matter to me. According to the Trump campaign, more than $34 million was raised from small donors in the hours following the guilty verdict. Oh, my God. $34 Literally. million dollars was raised from small... That is mad. Because he couldn't pay some fine recently, could he? So I'm mm. obviously thinking, gosh, this guy is so hard up. <laughs> I better send him some money. <laughs> what have we got? Sell There's your... $20 in hey, the can. Martha, sell your shoes. We're sending the money to Trump <laughs> to make America great again. Donald Trump will undoubtedly appeal against this conviction, but that won't happen for months. Before that, he'll be sentenced and will enter the final lap of this presidential election with a criminal conviction around his neck. Oh, man. This is going to help him. Yeah. Is it not still quite funny that the word Trump means fart? <laughs> he could be president from prison. You're lying. President in prison sounds like a film that we would love on a Sunday <laughs> afternoon, starring Anne Hathaway. With a duvet. Yeah. Oh, president in prison. There are a significant proportion of people in America who think he's great. That's very balanced of you, Claire. Thank you. Well done. Yeah, exactly. Got your little balanced... I've been trained to be balanced. Been You've forgotten your balance training. I've forgotten my balance training. It's gone. <laughs> gone. No balance in me anymore. The guy's an arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> And don't forget, Celeb Gogglebox is moving back to 9pm next Friday. And if you're like the celebs and we're getting into the Never Mets, stream all episodes now or you can catch it here next. And starting Monday at 9, high-speed thrills with high levels of danger in the new series of 24 Hours in A&E.